And it turns out that this process involves specific regions, specific locales in the nucleus. So that chromosomes are not positioned randomly. They actually go to specific regions depending on how they're being expressed. So depending on if they're densely expressed, they go one place. If they're less densely expressed, they go somewhere else. And if it's in between, they're in between. Interestingly, this is an arrangement that's observed across multiple species. So if we look at the picture, the red, you'll notice, is at, mostly at the periphery of the nucleus. And these are regions that correspond to DNA that is depleted in ALU repeats, which is just a way of saying the sequences in these regions are associated with the absence of gene expression. And they're close to the nuclear envelope. They're out of the middle of the nucleus. Whereas the regions in green that have these ALU repeats that are associated with expression are located in the center of the nucleus. And then there are yellow regions that are sort of average. These compartments within the nucleus are created by a protein. You can see the DNA in yellow. In red is the nuclear matrix comprised of a protein called lamin, which forms a crisscross structure that holds that nuclear structure in place. In blue are the nuclear pores that allow things to move in and out of the nucleus. And in aqua is the nuclear membrane, the envelope comprised of a phospholipid bilayer that surrounds the nucleus. So these compartments in the nucleus are really, really important in terms of gene expression.